Hello everyone, this is Mike. Welcome to my channel, Mike the Tech Savvy. After this short summer break, I'm back in full force. So the first video that I'm filming is a video that uh, has been requested for some time. And this is the updated Calyx OS installation instructions. In 2020, I have uh, shown you some detailed installation instructions on this Pixel 3a and since then the situation has changed somewhat and the procedure that allows you to install this very private custom OS has changed quite a lot. Let's get started. I won't dwell too much on the details for Calyx OS. I already have a couple of videos on it. I will link everything in the video description below if you want more details on this ROM and why is it very secure. This is one of the two variants that you have if uh, privacy is your main concern. The alternative would be Graphene OS. Now let's see this new installation method. As you can see here, I'm on the official website. I've clicked on install Calyx OS and now you can see the list of compatible devices, which is of course the same as before. We do have the latest Pixel devices and the earliest one that is still supported is the Pixel 2 along with the Xiaomi Mi A2, but this one is not Android 11, but Android 10. So take this into consideration and also some mentions about security updates. Of course, the first step would be for you to download the correct firmware for your device. In my case, I do have a Sargo Pixel 3a device and I have already downloaded the factory image. You can see it here, Sargo factory 280.zip. And now you should go into installation instructions here. Of course, please do read all the additional text. The updates are delivered over the air, just like with uh, Graphene OS and with any normal ROM, actually. As an optional feature, you can also verify the signature. You should click here and follow the steps. I've already done this, so I will skip this step just to make this video more concise. You should go now into installation instructions and now Compared to the previous instructions, you do have a command line installer. Take note of your device variant. If you have a Verizon Google Pixel device in the US, you will not be able to install any other operating system. You'll have to download this flasher depending on your uh, operating system. In my case, I do have a Windows 10 laptop here, so I will uh, download the device flasher.exe. Quick word of warning, it seems like I've received a uh, falsely flag. So this was detected as infected by Firefox. Of course, I allowed it and everything is working just fine, or at least I think it does. And you do have the steps here. It looks pretty straightforward. I already have the two files here prepared in a folder. I do have the phone here. In my scenario, I do have Android 12 developer preview one or two if I'm not mistaken. So this phone already has an unlocked bootloader. I already have the correct Calyx OS image for my device. There you go, here. You will need to download and install the Google's USB driver zip file. It's right here. I've already installed it. This is recommended whenever you want to tweak an Android device. It's not only required for this particular installation, you should place the flasher as well as the Calyx OS image into the same folder just like I did here. Do not extract or rename any zip files. I didn't do anything like it. And now I'm assuming I have to connect the phone to, to the laptop. I do have a USB Type-C cable here. If my camera would allow me to focus, yes. I will connect it right now. USB debugging connected. Of course, I do have USB debugging enabled. In developer options, I will show you right now how to do it. There you go, USB debugging. Make sure you've enabled it beforehand. And now let's uh, double click the device flasher. And it seems like it's extracting the factory image and downloading some uh, platform tools. Okay. And at this point, the um, device flasher also requires USB debugging to be enabled, just like I sh I've shown you before. And the OEM unlocking, I will check for OEM unlocking right now, but I'm almost sure that it's enabled as well. Yes, it is because the bootloader is already unlocked. There you go here and the USB debugging. So please do make sure that um, the instructions are met. And now you should just press enter. Detected. The phone was detected. Sargo and the serial number. 
press enter to continue. The phone has turned off. We do have a black screen. Hopefully the device won't break. Please use the volume and power keys on the device to unlock the bootloader. But this is not required because the bootloader is already unlocked in my case. It seems like the flashing has already begun. Of course, in this state, the phone is always in fast boot mode and everything is being flashed on the spot. Given that I was requested here to unlock the bootloader manually, I believe you can also unlock the bootloader straight from here, which is a pretty nice touch. Now we will wait for it to, to be done. I don't think it will take that much time. And to be honest, I really like the fact that everything is so straightforward, very simple. And at the same time, it doesn't really matter what uh, OS you have. It's shown to you in a very simple manner. Now the latest partitions are being written and the largest ones, which is the system partition. And now bootloader has to be locked. This is in the official instructions for Graphene OS and for Calyx OS. The bootloader always has to be locked after installation. And I will use the volume keys for this, just like I'm instructed here. Take a look at the device right now. I will use the volume keys, volume down in this case. Lock the bootloader, press the power key and the bootloader is locked. And that's it. The phone clearly states that the device is loading a different operating system. This is the same case with Graphene OS. It always shows this. Initially, you do have the Google logo, but it will quickly disappear. And a very nice Calyx OS animation will pop up on the screen. And I guess we are done with the installation. Let's now take a closer look. We do have the Calyx OS typical welcome screen. Just as a fair mention, I won't be going into that many details in this video because I've already made a couple of videos which are linked in the description on Calyx OS. But um, I will show you the welcome screen at least and the options that you do have. I do not have a SIM card. Skip. Fingerprint setup. Micro G. And this is the very nice thing about Calyx OS, you do have Micro G pre-installed or you can have it if you tick this box here. And this will allow you to install some uh, Google apps and to retain some functionality. So you will be able to use applications such as Waze. And at the same time, you will be able to install the Google camera, which is definitely the best camera app for the Google devices. Of course, you do have a lot of additional apps that you can install and most of them, if not all of them, are very, very privacy oriented. You do have Aurora Store, which is one of the best alternatives for the Google Play Store. Briar, Calyx VPN, which is a free VPN service. DuckDuckGo, Privacy Browser, K9, Email Clients, Location Privacy, a Document Viewer, Nextcloud, as an alternative to Dropbox, for example, Open Keychain, for bots, for browser, Signal, Scrambled Exif, Rise Up VPN. This is really interesting. I haven't heard of this VPN before. Organic Maps, Weather, and Ubico Authenticator. And now it will probably take a while until the apps will be actually installed on the device. I know that uh, Calyx OS was late to the game with Android 11, at least compared to Graphene OS, but right now it doesn't really matter, I mean they're both on the same level. And uh, if you want a more typical device, let's say with more functionality, Calyx OS is definitely the better choice compared to Graphene OS. Of course you do lose some uh, of that hardened privacy, but you do gain some functionality. So this is a matter of putting both in balance. You'll be free to choose whatever option you want. In my book, either of them is better than what Google offers stock. So yeah, it's uh, simply a choice between these two. This was a quick installation guide for the Calyx OS custom ROM. I did this straight off the bat and as you could see, initially I had a developer preview ROM, so I didn't even have a fully stock and stable ROM. Worked flawlessly without any issues whatsoever. Please do let me know if you have any questions or suggestions in the video description below. I will also list there some other videos which are related to Calyx OS. This is definitely the latest and the 
most updated guide on how to install it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please do press the thumbs up button. If you like to see more similar videos in the future, also press the subscribe button, which will be displayed right here in the bottom left part. Thank you so much once again for your support. Wish you a great day. Stay safe, guys. Bye.